be very at noon, so, uh, so, so I was heavy, but I believe that uh, nobody presented the evapor evaporation and transpiration like I did this morning. I never published a paper on it, but I think I studied a lot so far. To be, to be able to say that what I said is proper. Uh, one other problem with transpiration is we talk about leaves. I talk about one leaf. We want to go from leaf to canopies and from canopy to catchment because uh, the final goal in this school is to, to, get, to go to catchment. How do we have to deal with it? Okay, here, here is a, forget this one. For the, mean, for the meantime, we go to the, the, the normal transpiration with using the Szymanski and theory in what we call geoframe and heat. And uh, we call the, with Chris and Taylor, we, we used to simplify the calculation from solid after the complication I put in front of you before. The total thing is that, uh, okay, when I say about canopy is a thing, and in any case we have our evaporation in total is an evaporation from soil, evaporation from urban surface, from water surface, and uh, transpiration from canopy and evaporation from canopy. What is evaporation from canopy? When it is raining, the, the rainfall uh, uh, is uh, retained by the surface, and water on the surface of the leaves it does give it, it evaporates. So we have to call what is called interception. There is now a new book I have to send so to someone of you about interception. So, okay, the canopy is like this one. One uh, uh, canopy has two main characteristics, the number of leaves. How do we measure the number of leaves? But who makes remote sensing here? Finally comes some information that you can, that you can have from remote sensing. The number of leaves of a tree or a forest, which is uh, in the number that you call leaf area index. The number of leaf for uh, projection of area. So, but uh, the problem is that you have I don't uh, illustrating too much the, the formulas here, just the concept. You have uh, you have part of the canopy which is on the, uh, on the, on the light, and the other is on the shadow. Uh, leaf area index can, can be up to 12. Con conifers as 12 times the their uh, projected area covered by leaves. 12 times, but obviously they don't transpirate 12 times. Uh, because the radiation, anyway, is proportional just to the, their projection, not to the surface area. So we have to call with the, the, the leaf on the sun and the leaf and the leaf in shadow. And in case considering the radiation coming to the soil, as the what remain from shadowing from the leaf, from the trees. So uh, in this case, we we have to say, well, the very first thing that we did was to estimate the radiation on on leaf. We just use boldly the leaf area index, and we get extraordinarily high about transpiration. And, but this it was because we, not, we were not dealing with the transpiration in proper manner. Uh, the other thing with leaves is that transpiration, uh, at least in angiosperm, uh, uh, change during seasons because they lose the, there is not only the, the atmospheric demand that uh, changes, but also the number of leaves. So if we have a mapping the number of leaves over time. We know a little bit the geometry of the plants. We, we can modulate the, the transpiration during, during the part of the years. 
and that's more or less all because the rest of the information will come in practice this afternoon.